Hello everybody, I wanted to look at the infrastructure in India um, and basically uh, it's some of the most complicated uh, electrical infrastructure in the world. Um, you can basically see um, Asia and China um, being a significant amount of electrical power here uh, as well as Europe uh, really extending way out into Russia um, and even North Africa and, and the Middle East um, but basically um, there's major regions of infrastructure and I just wanted to circle those out here so you can see um, the major regions and then basically in Africa um, it's really a totally different picture entirely um, there's not a lot of light um, being generated uh, at night uh, you can see it from the earth at night image and I'll show you that in a moment so really uh, it's really hard to tell what uh, electrical lines are tracked and what are not tracked um, so the earth at night imagery is really the best that we got uh, to see so as you zoom out here you can see how important India is and actually even Pakistan right so really when we're looking at this we're gonna look at Pakistan India and Bangladesh um, all part of the same uh, kind of electrical grid um, and you can see Europe uh, being heavily uh, pretty much near Amsterdam and other areas and then the United States pretty much on the East Coast uh, but really in Latin America you really have Brazil uh, and then some parts of Colombia Venezuela uh, Peru and Ecuador right in this region here um, and then what West Africa being in Nigeria uh, and then South Africa here uh, in Johannesburg and then maybe Cape Town and then Egypt obviously being a huge amount of electricity as well um, primarily from the Middle East as well as there's a lot of electricity there but we're going to primarily focus on the global map here and you can basically see uh, we're going to go in here and look at India specifically uh, to see what's going on uh, here. And as we zoom in, you'll start to see more and more details uh, specifically for India. Now I'll load it in even more power lines there in a moment. And then we're going to see the, pretty much the closest extent that we can here. So a lot of that basically out of New Delhi. Um, you can see the infrastructure being pretty heavy there. And we do see that also on the Earth at night. You can see it right in here in New Delhi having pretty much most of the power and then more of the northern India as well as Kolkata down here Chennai uh, Bangalore and Hyderabad um, and some other places Mumbai kind of suburban Mumbai actually even having more electricity than uh, Mumbai itself and then Ahmabad and then Karachi here and then up into Lahore Pakistan and uh, Islamabad and then heading out into uh, basically not very much electricity at all so I tried to make sense of what's going on with the electrical grid, but basically it's hard to see. You have to really understand the population of India. So most of the population in India is actually in the north here. Um, and then actually the interesting electrical grid is actually mostly in the south. Um, but there's a lot of interesting stuff just with the complexity in the north and especially around New Delhi and then even in Pakistan. So you have to really look at uh, three major regions uh, here. And I'll circle those. So this is basically all India here and then with Calcutta here, right? And then you have basically Pakistan over on this side here, right? And then you have uh, basically Bangladesh right in here in this pocket. So those are the three major regions. Um, but then you also have this other whole other area here down south including maybe even Sri Lanka. And then even out in here, Assam, India is kind of a separate area. There's not a whole lot of population there, but there is actually quite a lot, um, you know, people and wildlife in this region. But particularly the wildlife is in here, my, Myanmar, and heading out into Bangladesh area. So I'm not going to circle anything at this Earth at night, but I can kind of show you some details on that. So here's the Earth at night. This is the Google image one. I'll try to post this with a photo, but you can kind of see as we pan around here. Um, into the north here and see some of the areas here. So you, we're going to zoom in even a little bit closer if we can here to start to see some of the details on this map. So you can start to see at night what's going on. There's a couple of key regions right in here where you have perhaps some electrical wires. So it's basically right around in here, right? And this is cool. and this is probably Lucknow, I think, India, um, but Uttar Pradesh, and this is actually Lucknow right up here. So, uh, but Varanasi, this is a very famous city here. Um, that has uh, pretty much uh, uh, a lot of central uh, locations along this whole line here out of New Delhi. So what I'm gonna do is draw a line here showing kind of this pathway that's so important right here. So this is all the way from Calcutta, essentially into New Delhi, right? And it basically goes through this side of New Delhi. 
So it's kind of like not super clear right there. But there's another pathway uh, luck now right on the northern side where you can see. So we're pretty sure that some of the most powerful lines, power lines would probably be right in through here um, uh, from luck now, right? All the way to uh, the city Perina. You can kind of see some of that here with these darker or lighter blue lines as well as um, other purple lines kind of running along here. But basically right in this region, you can see um, the circle it. Um, and this actually goes all the way throughout through here. But basically this line right in here is probably the main artery uh, for power in all of India. And actually I zoomed in a little bit more here on the top. It actually goes all the way up through here. So you can see there's kind of a separate line here. Now you can also see India is doing a lot of work right in this region. So you can see this is kind of heading out through Calcutta. So I'm gonna ride a separate line right in through here, just showing that visibility. This is Calcutta. Um, and then this is uh, heading into Nagpur and some other central Indian areas. So there's kind of a power line right in through here. And then this all goes through here. And I'm gonna do this all through the center here and show this is basically going out to Mumbai, India, right? And there's a whole huge power power vein right there. Now, heading down into southern India, you can see there's kind of a separate, almost like a loop here, right? So there's something that goes like this here, but then it goes all the way down in through here. So this is kind of the through here, right? And this probably ends right in here, rather, somewhere in this region. So this region would be very important to study, uh, to see. And then kind of some mysterious power lines, uh, Bengaluru and then heading to the tip of India. So these are very major cities for uh, technology right in this region. So I'm going to actually just circle this with a different color um, because there's actually a separate region right in here where it's just kind of uh, pretty mysterious actually with power. Um, so this actually includes Chennai uh, and, the, and I probably even should have included the tip of India here. So I just recircled that, kind of making it more clear. Um, but there's basically a whole lot of work here. Um, and then there's almost a separate section here. Um, now, the reason this is so important um, is because you're heading up into Pakistan. Uh, and this whole area is Mumbai and uh, other areas. So I would say the interesting part with, with you notice on the electrical grid here is that there's actually so much power heading down into southern, uh, southeastern, uh, Mumbai, right? So it doesn't really show up on the electrical grid. So there's probably a lot of work um, needed right in there. So in this region right in here, they're starting to build more power grids. Um, but that's an important area I would definitely look into carefully. Now I'm going to put this central region as yellow because there's a population is actually pretty sparse in this region, right? But it's actually a pretty important power grid right in there. Sorry, I had to read out that line just to make the arrows a little bit clearer. Um, but basically we're starting to get a picture of what the Indian power system might look like. Now, this really does not explain how important um, the main part is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch colors here and do the main red uh, on the region that is really, really, really important, right? So basically it's really interesting because the power grid actually goes quite far into Assam, India. And I'm going to do it a little bit outside of this. <laughs> it's so hard to do it. So what I'm going to do is just circle it like this. And just make it kind of obvious like this so and then this is actually heading into bangladesh which is actually a separate region you can see that bangladesh really has a lot of power concerns and i'm actually going to put that in like this because we're actually going to have to look carefully at bangladesh to see because actually it's so much part of what's going on here and yet the power situation isn't so great in bangladesh at all so the earth at night kind of starts to show some of those pictures. So I'm going to look at kind of, we're going to toggle between the two views here really quick so you can see. So basically we have some of these regions that don't really show up on the earth at night, but we kind of start to see. So you can start to see the two cities, Bangalore and Hyderabad. Um, and then actually I didn't even circle um, this one, but it's almost should be a separate case right here because it's a coastal front and it's different. And uh, maybe even these guys should be connected in here. So this whole thing, what I'm going to do is kind of going to be weird here, but uh, we're going to look at this whole coastal front area as a separate area, um, particularly for India and then even in Sri, Sri Lanka down here being a separate area here. So it really is a debate looking at how to measure what the situation is here. So here I kind of circled it all as one. 
Uh, and then I'm going to put uh, Sri Lanka as a red area because really there's not a whole lot of power down there. The one thing I wanted to emphasize in this discussion is looking at China relative to what's going on in India. Now, typically what happens is, at least in the United States, is the electrical lines run right along the road system because that's public property. So the road system is very much indicative of what is happening uh, for the electrical grid. So you can see that China is like way ahead. There's basically no high speed roads in India, whereas all these red roads and trains. So the trains, these are train lines here primarily, um, but uh, you know, the road system is very important as well, the red roads. So uh, basically there's not a lot of high speed roads here so that means that a lot of the train lines probably run the electrical grid uh, more so in India than in, in China so as a percentage the road system uh, kind of is not really up to speed at all in India compared to in China and again here's a population map and you can see even in Shanghai we're talking about a lot of population here right just in uh, New Delhi Calcutta, Bangladesh, uh, and really there's a whole question about power in Bangladesh because there's so many people here in Bangladesh and yet not a whole lot of power, not a, not a whole lot of use of electricity there at least. Give you one more look at the earth at night here on the imagery, kind of see what's going on. This is something I'd like to get into a little bit more detail. Um, it's basically the internet grid for India and it's primarily based out of Mumbai. Um, there is a whole separate group. I'll show you that really quickly. So these are all the lines to India, but if you look at carefully what's going on and you click on just Mumbai, you can see that a vast percentage of that is actually just in Mumbai. Um, but it's not really the only way to look at it. Um, definitely you, you should look at all the connections here. So we're going to zoom in really carefully to try to see some of these other connections. And you can see there's quite a lot of infrastructure. Even in Pakistan, this is Karachi, right? Um, but basically the other one is in Chennai. So basically from the infrastructure, from the internet standpoint, there is, I think that's a Calcutta, Bangladesh line here. Uh, uh, but yeah, you can kind of see um, that basically uh, Mumbai really is heavy on the internet side. And we see that across all the industries actually. And the nice part about this is if you click on Mumbai, you can see all these lines. These are the companies that actually are working on this. And you can work with each one of them uh, to try to see what, if you want to have some projects going on. So again, I hope you enjoyed this study of India and the uh, infrastructure. Um, there's certainly a lot more details to look at uh, in terms of what's going on electrically for India. Um, but I'd really hope uh, if you have some ideas and you want to talk about it, be sure to contact me and we can go through and look at the details. Um, but again, I would say definitely look at Pakistan. Um, New Delhi is huge here. Um, and then the lines that we looked at uh, on the major uh, submarine maps as well as uh, open infrastructure. So. Uh, yeah, but definitely take a look at this. Uh, and then as you zoom in, um, I can just zoom in really quickly here to show you one last little detail. Um, it does add quite a lot of details, uh, even cities around the world. Now, these are different power sources. Um, some of them are nuclear power. Now, let me show you the nuclear power in India really quick. So if you search for it, nuclear power plants, you can add it, um, and then it will add it to the database here. And it'll slowly load this up, hopefully. Um, and they're gonna show details here in a second. Anyway, sorry about that. Didn't want to load it up for some reason. I have a separate map uh, showing that in detail uh, that I can maybe try to load here at some point. But going back to these, you can see that these are the power plants as you zoom in. So there's actually quite a lot of power plants right in here. And we'll look down at all these power plants so you can see where they are basically on the map here as you head down to here. So there's kind of a lot, kind of different power stations and power plants right here and it actually even loads up even more let's just look at this spot because i found this particular interesting in uh in uh, calcutta so you can see here it's gonna load up even thermal stations um and some other ones so you can see it keeps loading even more so a lot of them won't show up unless you really zoom in carefully um, but it's at a certain point you'll get to the idea that it'll be that's the main ones there so um, that's pretty much all the main ones that they got in Calcutta, for instance. So, um, but you do have to zoom in and kind of see where they are. Um, let's just do the tip of India here just so you can see these details. Just in case it's a little bit hard for you to see. But um, um, I was particularly impressed with what's going on in Chennai. So that's one that I'd definitely take a look at, careful to take a look at. And let's go into Mumbai really quick because that's one that everyone's going to want to see probably the details on. So you can see all the power stations. There's actually quite a few power stations, right? They have a thermal power here and then uh, 
and out here is a megawatt station and it looks like a converter station out there so basically uh, the power is really needed in Mumbai it looks like overall um, from that diagram compared to New Delhi but uh, again you do see that on the Earth at Night map you see quite a lot of light there but there's still quite a lot of light here down in Mumbai and Chennai and Bangalore areas but uh, definitely some maybe some need to look into power stations uh, in Mumbai anyway I hope you enjoyed this discussion I'm gonna post some of these images on the line and then if you have some ideas I'd be glad to talk to you about it thank you so much see you